Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Today I'm going to show you some stuff that is often overlooked when you're installing a Yealink Microsoft Teams room, and that is the ability to control the camera. Now, there's a few ways to do the, uh, the camera control. One is the remote control, so you don't get them with most systems, but you can actually buy the remote control unit, which I happen to have here. So this remote control unit works with the Collab Bar or Microsoft Teams Room for Android systems, the A20. It will uh, adjust the framing and that kind of thing. It will also work with all of the Yealink cameras. All the Yealink cameras actually have a built-in IR sensor and there's infrared at the front. So you can use the, the little wheel here to zoom in and out. You can use the D-pad to move the camera around and pan and tilt and of course volume and teams button and so on but there's also a way to do it with the touchpad itself so the touch on this on the table uh what yaelink call their m touch so i've got it here I'm, I'm team viewered onto the system you can see i've got a meeting in the diary but ignore all that for the moment <clears throat> i'm going to go into more and settings i'm going to pop in the password then i'm going to go straight into window settings and go in as administrator. Right, so on the desktop, I've got an application. If you don't have it on the desktop or pinned to the desktop, you'll find it under the start menu, but it's the Yealink Room Connect. It's installed by default on all Yealink Microsoft Teams rooms. So the Room Connect is, is, is there for a few things. So one, it's about inventory. Um, you can actually see the inventory, you can uh, get at all the settings underneath, but you can also upgrade them. Microsoft Teams rooms are already upgraded automatically as they do their update check overnight. And that includes the Microsoft Teams room application from Microsoft, but it also includes all the peripherals and things for first party vendors who are certified for Microsoft Teams rooms. So the Room Connect application itself should update uh, periodically and the firmware on the actual devices should also update automatically again through windows update and the store if you want to update manually you can do so obviously uh, from the panel itself if you happen to have another version of the firmware that you get maybe get from yealink you can upgrade the actual application just double click on it and run it just like any install next next finish if you want to check for updates you can also check for updates here you can see i've got the latest version you can also adjust the update settings, so you can say at 3 a.m. auto update. So it's going to automatically update from Yealink servers at 3 a.m. on every day. So here you can see the components of my Microsoft Teams room. I've got the console, which is the mTouch 2. You can see the firmware and hardware version and the serial number. You can get out the settings, so you can uh, enable the access point, use a password. You can obviously go and upgrade. Manual upgrade just takes you to a file drag and drop and you've got a recovery settings. Same thing with the M speech, which, which is the new Rockfall speaker. You can reboot it or upgrade it. There's no real settings in there for now. So in the camera, if you go into device settings, you can see all of the uh, that pertinent information. If you go into advanced, you've got the ability to adjust the auto framing and turn that on or off. You can go in here into exposure and adjust all these settings for the room and the condition and the lighting conditions and everything else, graphics, white balance, and some other settings. What I really wanted to show you was under here in presets. So in presets, you've got the ability to pan and tilt the camera. I'm just gonna press that a little bit. You can also center the camera. You can adjust the zoom, but here you've got preset position. And this is probably the, um, the, the most underused uh, thing on Yealink cameras. So if I go to preset, I've actually saved that as a preset. So I can pan around, just going to kind of put it over here just to show you, add a new preset. So what it'll do is wherever you uh, put the camera, it will actually put a preset for you. You can also go ahead and delete presets. So if I want to uh, set something new, Maybe zoom in on my face. Now that's saved as a preset. Right, you get the idea. So now if I go back, right, so if we go back to the main screen here, 
Right, so you notice you've got a little equalizer down the bottom. So that is the room control. So that's the same name as the application. If I tap on that, it actually brings up the room control application. So in here, I can go and look at the status. In here, I can turn on auto framing. And this is, you know, not as an admin user. This is the normal user that walks into the room and can actually adjust and get at these settings themselves. Again, I can enable auto framing. I can adjust the brightness. But I can also pan and tilt the camera itself and I can zoom. I can reset it, which takes it back to the um, the kind of main center point that's that's programmed into it. So if I hit one of the presets, you can see it actually sets the preset position and I can see the camera is actually going and adjusting to, to where it needs to be to film that preset. If I had auto framing turned on as a for instance, it would override the preset settings and actually go and group frame anybody that's in the room. But you can override the auto framing settings and just hit one of these start points but then the auto framing will kick in and take over and that's it that's all i really wanted to show you is you've got some additional camera control on the yaylink microsoft teams rooms you can set some lovely presets so around the room you might have different podiums you might have different speaking positions you might have a whiteboard actually in the room that you're not using for content camera kind of capture but you could just go and film that as a normal whiteboard you could have a flip chart. You could have any number of things. You could even move it over to maybe your Surface Hub and, and uh, film that position. The great thing is, is you can move through these presets while you're in a meeting. You can't set a new preset with this uh, control here. You'd have to go in as an admin and do all that first. But once you've set this all up, you can toggle between them as you, as you need to. So I think this is a great feature on the Yaylink Microsoft Teams rooms. No other vendor has this kind of preset and camera control on the actual touch screen itself that I know of at least. Um, and I hope this has been useful. Catch you in the next video. Thanks very much.